Hey, this is Mark at the Action Figuratorium, and today I'm going to be repairing a broken army man. This is a 21st century toys ultimate soldier that, um, sad to say, I broke. And so I'm going to be showing how you can fix this on a modest budget of around three to five dollars. So stay tuned. <laughs> This uh, army man is something that I broke. I was messing with the arm and either I pushed it the wrong way or you know it had already frozen up and manhandled it to the point of breaking but the point is is that uh, you know you need to uh, own your mistakes and it's also a chance to then sort of uh, do something new with it at this point. Um, I thought about maybe making this into a uh, you know, like this could be a, a wounded guy, you know, missing an arm, that kind of thing, battlefield. But I thought maybe first we should just try to reattach the arm and that way we can get him back in uniform and posing with the gang. So for this fix, uh, what you're going to need is a uh, fine tip pen. You're going to need a pair of snips. You're also going to need uh, some glue. And uh, there's some optional things you don't need, but will probably help. Needle nose pliers, get to recommend. You can also use a drill for this, but the point I'm making is that you don't actually need a drill. It will save a couple of hours of sort of uh, menial handwork, but if you're just hanging out in the living room, watching your favorite TV show. This might be something you can do while you uh, pass the time away and maybe kind of even multitask it. So the other thing that you're definitely going to need, and uh, just pull it up here, is uh, you're going to have to go buy this. This is a wire gauge drill bit. And it's a small little guy like this. And this particular one that I bought from Master Mechanic brand doesn't even doesn't even list the size of this thing. Uh, and um, normally that would matter because I would have to go out and get another piece of material that I'm going to use in the fixing of the uh, action figure's limb and joint there. Um, but for this, because this thing is only a few bucks, I'm actually going to use it as the part when I'm done using it as a drill. So here we go. The steps it takes to fix something like this. You uh, look at where the arm used to attach at the shoulder. In here there's like a little piece that this connects to and this has a little square that connects to it. Um, you're going to take the pen and you're going to try and put a nice dot in the very center and that will just help you later visually cue up where the drill is going to go and you're going to do that both on this side and this side. At this point, the pen is done till the end. You will use it again though. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the little drill bit itself and even if you're using the electric drill, you're still gonna have to um, do a tap. That is, you're going to have to put the drill bit down and start the little pilot hole where you're going to drill into it. Now, what I suggest is as you're doing this, um, you could just be hanging out and slowly working it down by twisting it in your fingers. At one point, I put a little piece of tape on my fingers because I was just doing this by hand. wanted to assure people that this is something where you don't even need an electric drill to fix this figure at this point. But it's going to take you a couple hours to get through this. It's pretty slow work and you will eventually just twist your way down into it and the same thing applies to this end. Take the drill bit, start your pilot hole and then slowly 
twist it down in, right? And uh, you know, the thing is, is that you need to go deep enough to where it will get enough bite, but on something like this, the longer the uh, material is, the more flexible and bendy it becomes. So you're not trying to use up the whole thing. Anyways, what's going to eventually happen is we're going to trim this down to size. We're going to put a little bit of glue on both sides and we're going to insert this pin in there. And essentially we're making a kind of replacement um, pin joint for the figure. And this is very exciting. We live in a very uh, exclusively modern time for toys. If you travel with this figure, he may get stopped at security at airports because he has metal in his limbs now and he's going to have to explain that. So take this into account when you um, finish the operation here. So at this point, uh, I've already gone ahead, of course, as you can see, and, um, and sat there and drilled this thing into both parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now put the pin in and, um, you know, just to give you an idea, we're going to be cutting that excess out with the snips. So I put the pin in and this allows me to, uh, to sort of mark on it and that will allow me to measure it. And I measure it with my tape measure here. Handy dog to have. Okay, so I have opted to uh, use a different pair of clippers. Seem to work slightly better. And now we're at the point where uh, we can begin to test our uh, new artificial joint. Comes out easy enough, easy to get in. And something not necessarily required, but if you got it, It's a good time to put a clamp down on the figure while the glue is drying. So I have my fully repaired action figure having let it glue overnight. And you can see the arm is attached and it does in fact rotate this way. Uh, now you're probably wondering, will it do this? Um, this is the one that's currently working. And these are very stiff wheels. I think that may have been the reason why this broke originally. It will do that. However, you need to put a lot of pressure on it and go very slowly. And so I recommend that you don't do this unless you absolutely have to because the pin holding the two is um, pretty soft and it will break. However, uh, I can keep going up if I want to. I'm going to choose not to. This guy only has so many of those in him and when you use all those up, that's it. But as far as taking a figure that normally you would probably maybe throw away or maybe turn into a gimmick like he's the wounded guy that kind of thing now at least he has an arm that will do um, a few bits of articulation you can put a coat on him and you can throw him back into action with his buddies taking on the Indiana Jones gang and all their glory so again to recap buy the small wire gauge drill bit I got a master mechanic Number 58, so small it doesn't even tell you what the size is. Use that to, by hand, you can use a drill, but you can do it by hand. 
drill into each part, both the arm and the uh, piece inside where it fixes. Drill into that uh, with a little tiny hole. Measure out how far the wire needs to go into each of those. Clip the drill bit itself. Glue the drill bit in. That is, use the drill bit as the pin. Why? Because you're assured that it will fit. In fact, it will have enough room for you to stuff a bunch of glue into it and hopefully that will keep it in place for a while. And that is just one way to fix one of these guys for roughly about three to five dollars. And some would say even that is too much. Anyways, this has been Mark, the Action Figuratorium. At the bottom of the screen are a bunch of my uh, names on social media that you can find me, Instagram, Twitter, and of course on the Twitch channel. Thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see everybody in the next one.